everyone, it's Teddy, and today I am making matcha cupcakes. So this is what the batter looks like already. I've already got everything mixed up. So what I put in here is I put a cup and one-fourths of gluten-free flour. And let me look down at the recipe list so I get everything right. I did two tablespoons of the matcha powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, three-fourths of granulated sugar, I did a pinch of salt, I did three-fourths of oat milk, I did half a cup of vegetable oil, one egg, and vanilla extract. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the cups so I can make the batter and cook those, and then I'm going to start on the icing. And I'm just going to do a traditional buttercream for the icing. Um, you can dust a little matcha powder over it, but I'll see what happens and if I like that or if I'd rather just keep the icing plain. So when those are cooked, I will continue this video and show you guys what they look like. Alright, so if you divide this correctly and not spill any like I did, you will get 12 miniature cupcakes. Okay, so I'm going to let those cook for 17 minutes in a 350 preheated oven, and while I'm waiting, I'm going to clean up the kitchen and get everything ready to make the icing. Okay, so I'm just making a traditional buttercream, and I used one cup of dairy-free butter, and three cups of powdered sugar, and two tablespoons of oat milk. So I'm just going to mix all of this up and then I will stick it in the fridge until we are ready to frost our cupcakes. Okay, so I went ahead and put it in a large Ziploc bag because I do not have a piping bag. So when I'm ready, I will cut the tip and we will put it on the cupcakes. But I do not have a piping tip either, so I'm just gonna wing it. But it's just gonna be me and my family eating it, so I don't think it matters that much. Okay, so I just checked in on them, and for gluten-free cupcakes, they are rising really well, so I'm super excited for when they're done. As you can see, I did not put enough batter in every cup, but it's okay because it'll make up for it with icing. They came out perfect. Some of them are still a little bit flat, but it'll be okay. So I'm going to let them cool off, and then I'll ice them. Alright, now that it's cooled down, I'm going to ice it, and then we are going to taste. This is going to be messy, because I do not ice things well. Hey, not bad. Okay, I'll go ahead and ice the rest. When I'm done doing this, we will taste it. Alright everyone, it's time for our taste test. Looks good. Mmm. It's so good. It's so moist and soft. And the green tea tastes really, really, really good. These were still a little bit too warm, so the icing is melting, so I didn't um, ice the rest of them, so I'm going to wait until they cool down more before I do that. But this is really, really good, and I will put the recipe in the description, and I hope you guys try it, and if you do, let me know what you think about it. Have a nice night!